The internet has been around for two decades. In that time, it's become a necessity, but it's also expensive. The UN has declared it a human right comparable to uh, freedom of speech. Uh, because you need it to participate in many facets of our modern life that are absolutely necessary. You look for a job, it's posted online. You, you want to submit a resume, you have to submit it online. You fill out an application, it's online. So if you look at it this way, 42% of the lower income isn't having it and they're like being left out of today's society. I'm living in, in Toronto housing. I'm 52 years old. Uh, I'm, living, I'm living by myself. My rent is geared to income, and because I've got the internet, I cannot uh, have proper food, uh, like fruits and vegetables, and uh, the proper healthy foods that I'm supposed to have, since I've got epilepsy. Governments are waking up to the fact that being able to access the internet is just as important as having access to food and housing. When you need government forms of documents uh, that are required of you, then they often refer you to a website. Um, if you are disabled, then you don't have the same opportunities to get to the things that you need, so then that is more than just a convenience, but it's a necessity when it comes to education and job hunting. More and more, teachers are sending homework home via the internet. The teacher actually grades it online and it's interactive and it's great and it's fun and the kids love it. My children do very well with this uh, type of program. Now imagine not having any internet at all and your child needs to participate in school projects and maybe the parents are working, maybe it's hard for them to take the child. A grade three a child cannot go to the library by itself. A lot of the textbooks and like the science textbooks and when they tell you about helping your children, a lot of the help that the parents can access, it's, on the in, it's via the internet. So if we cannot have internet, high-speed internet at a, at a low rate, lower income people would never get it. Acorn Canada has launched a new campaign to help make the internet accessible to the millions who cannot afford it. I'm paying $56 a month for internet and uh, because I'm paying that money, I'm giving up other things uh, like food and, and entertainment and it's hard to keep her fed also. In order to bring fees down, the big telecommunication companies have to jump on board. We approached Bell and it wasn't very good. They uh, literally told us straight up, we're a billion dollar corporation and it's not our problem. In Canada, three major corporations sell us access to the net. In 2011, their net income added up to over $5 billion. Only Rogers agreed to work out a plan to make the internet accessible to low-income people. What they agreed to was $10 a month flat rate for people who are living in TCHC. And that's really great. But it's, it's just a start. We have to take that further. Uh, there were some problems, so now Rogers needs to be a little more active to get back into our really good books. They started to bill people when they went over a certain amount. It has to be a flat rate. You can't pull these surprises on people. They can't afford it. It will really spin their life into more hardship than it already is. Acorn believes that unless the CRTC steps in to regulate prices, nothing will change but it's up to the low-income people to band together. I know we little, but we deserve this, and this, is, we, this should be a right. In today's society, it should be a right with, uh, with everything being on the internet. We need to have access to that internet. If you want to join the fight, join ACON.